This video is on developing and updating industry knowledge. So as you work, you have to update your knowledge and you have to improve yourself. The following learning objectives, seek information on the industry and update industry knowledge. We're going to start with the environmental issues and requirements on industries. So the first is rewards and incentives. So meet staff needs and expectations uh, as the boss. Fairly distribute and then goals and targets are clearly understood and agreed upon with the employees, the management team, and the staff to identify the goals. This is important for the employees also to know where the company is going forward. Where is, where is the where are the leaders leading them to? Job conditions, those job standards are clearly understood and agree, agreed upon by the employees. Right? Good performance is reinforced by rewards. Sanctions are consistently, consistently enforced on non-compliance and performance is strictly monitored to ensure compliance. So the following are environmental issues and requirements on industry also on industries. Still on job condition, employees are given feedback regarding their progress and are given the opportunity to explain their handicap or difficulties in meeting the standards. Before entering into a job, your uh, employer should know if you have any difficulties or if you have any handicaps. Consequences of performance are appropriately handled also. Situational leadership is appropriately applied by the leaders. Number three is rapport between the employer and the employee is very important, meaning there should be a mutual trust and respect between them or among them. Members of the management team expresses their concern over the employee's problems and difficulties on the job. Uh, they should not merely uh, keep, um, keep it uh, to themselves but share it to the person involved so that the person involved would know what to do. No one is convicted for any offense without proper hearing or investigation. That is also very important. Healthy team climate, working relationships are built on trust, respect, and cooperation, of course. There is an open and honest communications in the team and no suppression of feelings. Uh, there is a tendency of employees to do, that, to, the, to, to do that to their employees in the fear of being removed from their job. But, you know, uh, feelings and emotions can still be expressed without being rude to uh, the the other party. Conflicts and differences are confronted and dealt with constructively because we are different from each other and conflicts are always uh, there present. Number five, fair, favorable co uh, corporate values. There is a high value for quality, excellent time cost, productivity, corporate image, and customer satisfaction. Positive corporate value values are internalized by everyone in the organization. It means they know the values of the company. Corporate values are translated into action by ways of operational policies and corporate practices. Uh, they should not be clashing each other. I mean the corporate values and the practices themselves. Number six, favorable attitudes. The members of the management team do not project biases and prejudices against their employees and colleagues. So no one reads meanings to that do not exist. Discussions on controversies are focused on the issues and not on personalities. You're not dealing with the person, but you're dealing with the issue okay, of the person. High level of staff participation is also very important. The staff are given opportunities to participate in a democratic decision making. So the staffs are consulted on issues affecting them, especially because they can always have a say to this. It pays for them to be informed also. In challenging and interesting job, to avoid monotony, the job is made more challenging through job rotation and job enrichment. This will also help the workers be knowledgeable of the task of each other. 
so that in case of uh, emergency or there is a need, they know what to do. Next, recognition of good work is always significant, well, in all aspects. So they should be appreciated, they should be rewarded if need be but need be. Employees are made to understand the significance of the job. So employees are made to uh, understand that their job is very important and what is the importance of their job. Okay. Misunderstanding, apprehensions, and biases of employees are confronted and resolved. So misconceptions, fears, apprehensions of employees, this should be discussed and clarified and resolved properly. Okay, now we go to updating information. So where are or what are the sources of our inf information? When we talk about the sources of information, of course, the first thing there would be media. Then we have reference books. We have the libraries. We have the unions, uh, industry associations, industry journals, internet, and personal observation and experience. So work ethics required to work in the industry. Work ethics is very important, whether you like it or not. So under this one, we have the first cooperation and camaraderie to avoidance of conflict. And how do we minimize that? Actions and words should be done and said with due courtesy. That is what I was saying a while back. It's not wrong to express your ideas as, as long as it is done with courtesy. Practice the golden rule. Yan. Then refrain from destructive personal criticisms, argument, unpleasant comments, and judgments. What about handling guest complaints? So sometimes, or maybe not sometimes, maybe often, uh, some some guests would uh, be com would bring their complaints. How do you handle them? Approach the complaining customer politely, and you would say, "Anything I can do for you, sir, or may I help you? May magagawa po ba ako sa inyo? May tutulong po ba ako?" Listen attentively. Let them finish their statement and reaction. So if the message is not clear, confirm or clarify. If I got you, sir, are you saying that? Kung tama yung pandinig ko, ganito po ba ang gusto nyo mangyari? Ganon. So get more details. So client, your service is lousy. Oh, you have to get the detail. Do not get offended right away and say, oh, then you go to another restaurant or you go to another place. So you have to ask, what is exactly wrong? What do you mean by lousy po? So that we would be able to improve our service to you. So be calm and sober. If the uh, complainant is not calm, you should be. Okay. Be open-minded, accept the facts of the complaint, and uh, refrain from being defensive. So your comment is well taken, sir. Accept the client's feelings by saying something like, I can understand how you feel there. And then, never argue or disagree or discreetly, indiscreetly prove the customer wrong. So, if the comment is an unsound accusation, raise your point by using the yes but technique. Like, I can see that you are not satisfied with our services and I respect your comments. However, many of our customers seem to like our services. In fact, we are the best among others, but you don't brag, of course. If service is faulty, apologize. I am sorry for what happened. Okay. And then settle sensitive matters or problems in private so that it will not be uh, in, a, in an embarrassing situation. Okay. Especially on declined credit card or shortage of cash of payment, suspended signing privilege, and the like. None. Never pass the blame on another person or department in an effort to defend yourself. Oh, it's the fault of the other department because of them. No, you are one, remember? If the guest is very upset, the, uh, does not want to accept apologies, then call the supervisor or the manager. Should a complaint or request require a delicate decision or action, you still have to call the proper authorities. That's the supervisor. And then, let's continue. Take appropriate action immediately and assure the complaining customer that his concern is being taken seriously. When the customer is exhibiting scandalous behavior, like shouting or stating some provocative statement, then you still have to practice maximum tolerance and try to pacify. 
identify the problem of the customer before taking any action about their complaints. Then, show appreciation rather than in irritation. Still, you can say, thank you, sir, for bringing this matter to our attention. Okay, And you have to be sincere because whether you like it or not, they are the guest and uh, they have a point in, the, in why they are complaining. It's for the betterment of your company. Work ethics required to work in the industry. Okay, healthy spirit and cohesiveness. Being... Uh, Physically present with, with, when a group project is being executed. Showing concern and interest in your group mates also. Show appreciation in others' contribution and take pride. Then we also have career opportunities. So this is where you're, you're going to hone your knowledge still as a professional first by staff training. So there could be many trainings that can be given by the company, but if the company is not giving any, then you have the privilege, you have the right to find one for you. Anyway, at the end of the day, it's not only for your company, but it's for your benefit. Okay, number two, employees' morale and welfare. So employees are appreciated and praised for their efforts and good um, uh, good work. Remember, uh, the first thing that we are trying to do here is to have a good environment, working environment, that everybody will be harmoniously working with each other. So you have to give respect, trust, and confidence are very important. Okay, And then we also have communications and grievance handling. There is a grievance department to handle all, all grievances. So we have to relay our grievance properly and not just spread them around like rumors. So that's not good. That's not being professional. Then you also have okay, job description of industry personnel so for example we have the bartender so the basic functions would be to prepare or to mix alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks that's his job and then sets up the bar takes charge of storage and be of beverage and bar supply okay you also have the food attendant so the food attendant's basic function is to take and serve food and beverage orders according to prescribed standard of service. There you can read all that. For the food attendant still, specific duties, okay, and more specific duties for the food attendant. Of course, we also have the receptionist. His or her basic function is to welcome and greet customer at the entrance and to escort them at the table. And so this person should exude uh, um, a good, positive environment. And he or she also has specific duties. Okay. It's important for us to know these ones so that we'll not be um, taking the job of another and neglecting our own duty. We may help them, but we should not uh, override their duties because we have our own duty. Next, we have the baker. The basic function is to prepare and produce a range of high-quality pastry products in commercial food production environments and hospitality establishments. So under this one, prepares pastry, decorates, prepares uh, cakes, torts. Then we also have this one, uh, cut kitchen, cook or the cook helper. The basic function is to assist in the daily preparation and cooking of dishes and maintains cleanliness in the production area. So he or she also has his or her specific duties. Okay, we also have managing front office department. Okay. Front office is very critical very criti critical service unit because its personnel are the first line of defense okay of course the front office also is, uh, are in charge of the, they are in charge of room accommodation and then room maintenance also 
I mean, they don't do the maintenance. That's the job of another person, but they make sure they are maintained. Three sections division, uh, three sections of room division. We have the front office, housekeeping section, and room sales. They have their own tasks also. Subunits of the front office, we have the front desk, the reservation section, we have the bell service. Sometimes it's being taken by one person, by one individual. Okay, we also have the telephone exchange, front office cashiering there, uh, guest relations assistance, airport or transport guest assistance there. So we have our own roles in our workplace. We have to do them properly and we, we have to do our jobs to the best way we can. Thank you very much and I'm going to see you again in the next video.